So this is the animation that I'm going to show you how to create in this video. Now, as always, you can find these assets from the link in the description. So go ahead, download that, and you can follow along with this tutorial. Now, let's begin. So I'm just going to create a new timeline. And the project settings, once again, use vertical resolution like we always do. Go over to effects and add this fusion composition. Right click, go over to open in fusion page. Now over here, I'm going to add this background and this merge. Connect the merge with the media out and then drag in this picture. Now, this is the white texture. You can find this from the link in the description, but you can, of course, use any texture that you want. This texture that I'm using is white, so make sure you're using something similar like this. Now, go ahead and connect this with a transform node. And while you have your transform node selected, press Control Space, search for Stop Motion. Now, connect the Stop Motion with the Merge 1. Now, go over to Merge 1, and from here, change the angle to 90 and now you can just use the scale to position this so that this covers our screen now go over to transform and from here right click on the center click on or go over to modify with and then select shake and do the same thing for the angle as well modify with and then select shake now also change the edges to match now if you go over to the modifiers from here let's just first of all double click on center Change the smoothness to 4, minimum to 0, and maximum to 360. Now double click on the angle, change the smoothness to 4, maximum keep this at 0, minimum sorry, keep that at 0, and maximum at 360. So if you play this right now, this is how it will look. Now go over to background, and from here, let's just change this to slightly less dark, you can say, or you can also co copy the color code from here as well. This is the color code that I'm using. Now go over to merge over here and from here change this to darken or you can change this to multiply. So I'm going to use multiply and if you play this, this is how it will look. Right now let's go back to our main timeline and I'm going to drag in another fusion composition. So basically this one, this composition at the bottom jet we just created, this is for the background. Now this one is where we will start animating. So open in fusion page, add in a background, connect this with the media out. Change the alpha to zero. And from here, select your background and click on this multi merge. Now, here we're going to add some assets. So, first of all, let's add in this heart image and connect this with the multi merge. And now I'm going to add in this multi poly and also this background. Connect the multi poly with the background and the background color, change that to white. Now, go over to multi poly. And from here, we, you can already see we have this polygon. So let's just go over here and create this sort of a shape. Of course, you can use any sort of shape that you want. I'm just quickly going to do this. Perfect. Now go over to the border width and change this to 0 0.01. Now, if you connect the background with the multi merge, here you can see this is how it looks. But make sure you go over to the polygon once again and change the border style to or first of all unselect the solid and then change the border style to flat all right and now we're going to add in another polygon and this time we're going to just create an arrow so you can just randomly create this arrow perfect and now let me just position this so this looks fine and now what we can do is just change the position for this so what you can do is use the multi merge and the background one over here so make sure that you select this background which is connected with the polygon and then you can just change the x so this will move out of the screen but this will work when we start animating this so you can just position this anywhere you want all right and now we're going to also add in this image of the refugees and connect this with the multi merge all right, and also make sure to add this background. So connect the image with the background and then the background with the multi merge because we're going to use this red color for this. And of course, that's up to you. You can use any color. But since the heart is also red, so this matches with the theme of the video. And now let's position this. So go over to multi merge and over here. Now this is the media 2, which is this one, the image that we just have over here. 
you can now move this right here somewhere around here and you will see later on why we need to change this or move this over here because we're going to add this transform node now so make sure you select your multi merge and click on this transform make sure that this is selected now with this transform we're going to go over at zero zero frames create a keyframe at center and then go over at 50 frames and then move this right here and also this one you can move this up now go back to your multi merge and the image that we have over here you can just slightly position this right here again go to the background and you can move this up and then this image you can move this down so that we have enough space for our map that we're going to add now but before we do that click on spline and select your transform and select this fit this is zoom to fit so select the zoom to fit and then select your keyframes hit s on the keyboard and then move these so that you can get this sort of an animation just watch so this looks much better now we're going to do one more thing uh, for this line over here go over to multipoly and this polygon one right now we're going to go over to let's say 70 and make sure you select polygon one and create a keyframe at length so create a keyframe at length and then you can just change the go over to 10 frames and change this length to zero so this is how it will appear and then you can go over at uh, 70 or you can say okay so this is ending at 70 so now we need to animate this position polygon 2 what you can do is simply just create a keyframe at 75 at level and then go over to 70 and change this to zero so this is how it will look now perfect now you can go over to spline and with make sure you just unselect the transform only select your multi poly and only select polygon one select your keyframes hit s on the keyboard and now this is how it will look and you can also move these keyframes back so if you think that this is not appearing or this is not looking good it needs to be in the screen what you can do is go over to multi poly one over here first of all just select zoom to fit and from here let's go over to 50 let's say let's move these to 50 so this is how it will look at the moment yep this looks perfect and also go over to 65 and move this one right here so this is an easy way to change the position of your keyframes now let's go over to multi merge once again and at 40 create a keyframe for this media 2 at center and go all the way to the end and then slightly move this in so that this will give a movement like this now for the final thing make sure you add in this merge and now you can add in your map so this is the map add in this background connect the map with the background and background with the merge now change the background color to white and use the merge to position this so let's move this right here all right and the final step is make sure you select your merge press control space and search for glow so this is the glow that we're going to use but change the glow size to 80. all right so let's play this and and see how this looks okay so we need to animate this map as well for that you can just add this rectangle mask connected with the merge one right here and position this so that this is the map is visible now change the soft edge all the way to 0 0.2 and as you can see this is where it appears or you can say this is where our animation ends right here so you can create a keyframe at let's say let's say 80 let's go over at 80 create a keyframe at center and then let's go over at 60 and move this down and this is how it will look so this is our animation right now let's go back to the main timeline and see how this looks so here you go so this was it for this video i hope you will find this video useful and i will see you in the next video